trending news. Ebony State Police Command vowed to stop Biafran celebration on Biafran Day. The Ebony State Police Command on Thursday vowed to halt the alleged planned candled procession by members of the indigenous people of Biafran and other agitators in the state to mark Biafran Day. Biafran Day is always celebrated on 30th of May, 2000, or 30th of May every year. In a statement by the command public relations officer, Mrs. Lovett Ada, and the activities of IPOP members during the annual celebration usually involve <coughs> gatherings at strategic locations in the states. She stressed that the social restrictions order and, and directives of the federal and Ebony state government has measured to control the spread of COVID-19 pandemic in a country where still in force. The attention of Ebony state police command has been drawn to plans by some unlawful groups to embark on candle procession which will involve gatherings at locations in the state as well as churches. We also employ all law abiding citizens to the state of the state to ignore any gathering order for candle procession by any person or group of persons as the command will not hesitate to arrest and persecute any person or group of persons who try to disturb the peace of the state and sabotage the efforts of the government aimed at controlling the spread of the COVID-19 in the states. Punch Red. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. As far as I'm concerned, the police command can never stop Biafrans. It can never stop Biafrans with candlelight procession. But they always, uh, they are, but they allow, sorry, they allow Dangote straw and containers to carry full and and our, our, uh, Awusa people into Biafran land. And you did not remember virus, you don't remember that there's COVID 19. They allowed the uh, Malgiris, the full and to enter the, the Biafran land. And now, because Biafrans are planning on candlelight procession during, during this Biafran day, and they are stopping them, they are threatening to sue them, to arrest them. Imagine that. Imagine that nonsense. They allow Dankote to do whatever he wants to the containers, to carry houses into Biafran land, and you don't, they don't remember that there's COVID-19 then. They don't remember that there's virus COVID-19 virus, or they don't, they don't remember the virus rule, rules or regulation. Eh? On that only because of, because Biafran praying procession, they are complaining. Imagine that. Then they will see if they can stop it. The Biafrans will not agree to, 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 to they will never agree to, or look, or relax and look at those people destroying what they are doing or stop them from this from lightning candle for for, for grand procession to celebrate Biafran Day. No COVID nineteen with no COVID nineteen virus in Nigeria. So they should stop deceiving us. We know we already know about this with the help of some Nigerians, from citizens, Nigerian citizens and oh um, um, Namdi Khan has said it as well. Wasanjo has said it. A lot of people have said it. It's very, it's very clear. So no COVID nineteen, in, no COVID nineteen virus in Nigeria. So lightning a candle is not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. Let them do what they want to do because it's very compulsory that they do this. They celebrate every year. This year should not should not be left out. That's, that is it. So there's no problem. 
All I want to say is that they should be careful about about uh, Biafran members because Ebony State is a Biafran land. Please, they should not. They should not make any attempt to arrest any of them, any of these IPOP members, because if they do, they will change it for them. All the politicians in Ebony State will be dealt with by Biafrans. So Biafran must stand, must gain its independence in Jesus' name. So this is a nice one. This is a nice one from the people of Biafran as they are celebrating their Biafran day. I so much congratulate Nam the Khan for all this. Nam the Khan is a good leader. This is why he has remembered. He has always remembered that there is a oh, Biafran day. If he's not a good leader, he wouldn't have remembered or celebrate any or any such such of such of uh, you never celebrate this day. That is the fact. But he is celebra celebrating this day because he knows that it's necessary to celebrate the Afan day. But he is not the only one that has been doing this. He did not start this um uh, not that Biafran. He wasn't the founder of Biafran. He just came and meant Biafran. So he has the right to keep celebrating. And anybody that wants to come back, come and take his position, or when he is tired or retired, then the person will still continue like that, like that, like that. Imagine. Social restriction. Social restriction order that targets only... The data, the, 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 they are talking about social social this restriction social distancing this government the government of nigeria the governors they are not following the rules as well look at buhari he was he asked the nigerians to put on face mask and he is not doing it does not even put on since this pandemic has started he has never put on a face mask once i so they are this social restriction order is targeting on, only on Igbo people. Why? Why that? Buses and trucks load of, hey, as I said before, buses and trucks load of Fulani youth are coming in every day without restriction because they part with money. Because of money. People want to remember their brothers and sisters that died during the civil war with candlelight processions. And the police is flexing muscles, saying all sorts of things, saying nonsense that they will be arrested if they continue that. Why that? You don't like Biafran doesn't mean that you will keep misbehaving or causing pains or restricting them from, from celebrating Biafran Day. They are trying to mourn the dead and you are saying that they should stop doing that. Say you know you are not threatening, giving them threats that you're going to arrest them. What a nonsense! Are we in the era of uh, apartheid? We're not in the era of apartheid in South Africa. One thing is clear: God has not seeded the word of the devil. The word of the devil, it's so fake. It's very different from the word of God. This word that we are here to. God created this word and God has ordained this word to be. And those that are in this world are children of God, except the ones that have refused to adhere to the things of God. If you adhere to the things, if you don't adhere, if you don't believe or do according to the word of God, 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 word of God says, then you'll be persecuted. You'll definitely be rejected by God. Because the Bible says that the truth of God left Saul and the feet of the devil came upon him. That is it. So if you don't listen to what this that what the word of God says, then you will definitely be punished. So viewers, this is all I have to say. Your comments and your contributions is very needed. Drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates. And don't forget, share and like this news as well. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.